can't put a price on the value of a good education, but many students will be paying the price for years to come. And if Congress doesn't act by July 1st, students could be paying double the interest on their student loans. Sheree Harvin shows us how students and state leaders are banding together to change minds in Washington. We have to come up with an alternative. It's a delicate topic affecting millions of students. And this is why I need to hear from you. Representative Stephen Horsford hosted this roundtable to rally students to push lawmakers towards a deal on student loan debts. Subsidized loan rates will double from 3.4 to 6.8 percent if lawmakers don't act fast. And one CSN student opened up about his personal struggle for higher education. I haven't shared this with many people, but I think uh, this is the right uh, time to do it. Um, uh, the way that I did, I was sleeping in my car for a few months. Yuri Perez from Cuba received a summer internship at the prestigious American University in D.C., but he had to save money for room and board. Now, upon graduation from CSN, he can't afford to attend the school if rates rise. Just before the roundtable ended, though, Horsford formed a team of students like Yuri to urge Congress to compromise. The task force is an opportunity for these students and any other student who wants to join to give their perspective about what uh, college affordability means to them. Yes, students have a responsibility to fulfill their educational goals, but we have a responsibility as a society too, and we ought to step up and fulfill that responsibility. CSN President Michael Richards is hopeful, but Yuri wonders if that will be enough. I don't know how I'm going to make it, and if these uh, loans, rates go so high, all the sacrifices, all the hard work, um, it will be for nothing. Sheree Harbin, 8 News Now. The total average debt of the students we talked to today is $25,000, but there's $1.1 trillion in student loan debt nationwide.